Hello everybody and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode we walked around Garrig Mach and met all of the students. And today we're going to be choosing which house we're going to be in charge of. Suppose I should return to Rhea. Let's go ahead and do it. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Which house will I choose? So, needless to say, this is an, a, a very important decision. Which house you choose, choose drastically changes the game, who you're going to be seeing, what missions you will be doing, the entire story. So I will give a quick little tiny summary of each of the decisions if you don't want the very very slight spo spoilers that i will be giving here go ahead and skip but otherwise let's get started with it so you can see the dimitri team here the blue lion house choose this if you want to be you know, the generic good guy team it's very comparable to other fire emblems it's a story that's honestly very very sad uh, made me cry several times as I played through it. Um, a story of revenge, redemption, many other things. This is the Leicester Alliance. This is another one that's kind of similar to other Fire Emblem games. Choose this if you want to get the most story out of the game in one playthrough that you can. I should also mention, choosing these three different viewpoints, you will not be getting the full story with any of them. If you want the full story, you will have to play three of them, but the Golden Deer gives you the best overall point of view of it. And then you have the Black Eagle House, the Adrestian Empire. Choose this if you want something a little different. Shake it up a bit. It's really all I can say. Also, there is uh, actually two paths if you choose this house. Uh, one of the paths I wouldn't recommend for a first playthrough, but the option is there. And with that, I will be making my choice. I'll be going with the Golden Deer House for this playthrough. So you have chosen the Golden Deer led by Claude, correct? Yes. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Vodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I, I am in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? I accidentally skipped that. No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. A new addition to the Officers' Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Alrighty. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. We got some rude kids here, boy. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. You're not entirely wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. I don't mind. 
Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. You know what? That's a good point that I want to bring up, actually. Um, so you heard a little earlier from Rhea that uh, Geralt, our father, had ran away from Garrig Mach 21 years ago. They also didn't know that we were born. And thus, you can assume our character's age is probably anywhere from 20 to 21. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Seros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Seros and a peerless mercenary. He's not that well known. Not that we know. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes. I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. If there's no meat involved, it's not a party. Take it to heart. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. Alrighty, everyone's met us. Everyone knows we're the new teacher. Perhaps some rude, rude kids, some rude reactions to that. But hey, they'll get to love us over time. There are there. I should mention there are the rude kids, no matter who you choose. Some of them are like, mm, all right. So don't choose on how much they love you, cause uh, um, <laughs> you might be disappointed. All right, there's new places to explore in the monastery. Yeah, we're allowed to go to more places. So uh, this game does operate on a kind of timed month system. I received a thousand G from the Church of Saros as funding for the month's activities. Um, so it's kind of an in-between between different games of how you're allowed to go along. Are you just going to talk? The power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Good golly. Um, it is kind of an in-between of uh, previous Fire Emblem games. There's the old ones where it's like you had to absolutely go battle by battle. Um, and then there were the newer ones where, like Awakening, personally, or uh, I believe the Fates had two different versions of this. Whereas in Awakening, you were able to fight as many battles in between your chapter battles as you wanted to grow your units as you want this game you're kind of allowed to do that but you are somewhat timed you don't know about crests well allow me to tell you everything absolutely everything about them is your calendar clear this will take a while crests are a fascinating topic but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. 
Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Well, he's just going to go crazy over our crest. Crests are an actual game mechanic uh, that we'll be go able to go into later. Nobles have crests, commoners do not. All right, and with that, an academy uniform for the protagonist is now. Oh, yeah, DLC stuff. I do have the DLC pack for this game. I'm going to show as much of it as I can. And, uh, of course, there is also a DLC coming out in the month after I'm recording this. So I'm going to cover that as well as I can. I'm not sure how it's exactly going to work, but I'll try to cover it. And you get, oh, just a bunch of stuff. Um, as far as I can remember, you get a couple of different outfits for characters. You get a new character to recruit, Anna, you could see there. Uh, there's uh, supplies, uniforms, oh. Academy they go nuts. For them. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month and when. Yep, so we'll be able to uh, go through our days every Friday, or is that that's Sunday. Every Sunday we'll be able to explore Garrig Mach all we want. The other days, uh, Mondays have classes. Actually, I'll be able to show this better in the next screen. So, every Sunday, we get our choice of several things to do. We can explore, we can have a sem seminar, we can do battles, which is what I meant when I said you're kind of allowed to have in-between battles to the extent you want, but you are timed. Or you can rest, and uh, I'll go over these three seminar, battle, and rest later. Right now, we're going to explore. And this is what you're going to want to do most days, because you're going to be able to accomplish the most. So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that DLC supplies. Uh, so these are things that I'm going to have that you probably will not on your playthrough, so I might not use them. I don't think they're that important, though. Uh, sacred shoes that have been kissed by the wind permanently increases movement speeds. Hold on. No, no, no. Let me look at these items. It's not going to let me. Yeah, it will. Uh, increase movement by two. Increase HP by 7, Strength by 3, and Speed by 3. Okay, these are really, actually really good. Gale Wind Shoes I can see being really good, because movement is uh, a very scarce resource, source, I guess. Uh, and it seems like that's it. Alright, we have our journal here. We can look at our appearance. Oh, we can change even the kid's appearance, I believe. Attire in battle. 
class and monastery. I believe these will change. Oh, oh, loungewear. Uh oh. Yeah, these are all DLC. Servant attire, classic. I gotta see them all. Or custom. All right, interesting. Summer wear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not as uh, revealing as I, I thought it was literally gonna be swim trunks. And evening wear. Ooh, fancy. Uh, I think I'll go with the academy stuff. I'll, I'll probably change them around as we go on. But uh, let's look at our own. Oh, geez, there's so many. So we have the academy with cloak and without cloak. This one's a kind of funny looking one, not gonna lie. We got house lounge wear. I'm not wearing this. I'm sorry, I'm not giving any students this or myself. Servant's attire, so I can be a fancy looking boy. What does my custom one look like? Oh, it's pretty much the same, just a little bit of color splashed on there. Summer wear looking like everyone else. Evening wear looking like everyone else. And then you got this one, where you can dress up as Sothis. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go with the regular outfit for the most part. Although you can't add glasses. And you know, a boy just might. Um, then you can change your battle as well. Which uh, I'm assuming is different uh, if you change your appearance. Anyway, then we can look at the bulletin board whenever we want. So we can see quests that are opening up, uh, certain things to do. Oh boy, there's going to be a lot to do this first day. You can see I have an activity point up in the top. That's how many things, like uh, big things that you're allowed to do during the day. Your professor level on the left, that will actually, as that goes up, you will increase your activity points. Uh, you just get to do more as the game goes onwards. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. Which is weird. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. But the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Sedith doesn't seem to like us too much. Maybe we'll uh, spend some time trying to get on his good side. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Yeah, I, I find it very weird how, like, generally, like, students are in a class because of the country they were born in. Um, I guess it's not, yeah, it's, it's kind of countries. Um, but they can just swap if they want, I guess. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. Okay. I can do you a quest. Grow plants in the greenhouse. Take to do seeds and ask the greenhouse keeper to how to grow and harvest crops. We might as well do that. Um, the greenhouse does not take an activity point, so you can do that as much as you want. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. Yeesh. Um, I should outright say I don't intend on talking to every single student every single day. Uh, I'll probably talk to them a bit more at the beginning here, but uh, students have different dialogues every month. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of dialogue. So, about the mock battle that's coming up, you don't mind me sitting it out, do you? As a fragile maiden, I'm useless in battle. I'll just cheer everyone on instead. All right. Did you hear the news, Teach? Looks like we're gonna have a good old mock battle between the houses. The Golden Deer House isn't exactly what you'd call an elite group just yet, so you may want to whip everyone into shape with some extra training. After all, competition is only fun if you win. To that end, I'd better prepare as well. You know, I was researching what it's like to live here long before I even enrolled. Want me to fill you in, Teach? Oh, you're gonna give me, uh, tutorials, huh? All right, um... Most of this is self-explanatory. Facilities, those are things you can spend your activities points on. Um, bulletin boards and quests speaks for itself. You can do quests. 
activity points. I think I'll have him explain this one. For me to tell you how to use the facilities, but it's a good idea to be mindful of how you're using your time. If you don't think about how you're spending your free time, it'll be over before you know it. Yep, so you can explore as much as you like, but doing actions uses up an activity point. And this is kind of what I mean by like, you're limited on what you can do um, as time goes on, but uh, you do get more freedom as the game goes on. And let's explain professor level as well. Here at the Officers Academy, even professors are expected to study often to help maintain their strong leadership skills. In other words, students and teachers alike have to strive to grow in every possible field. Yep, so uh, as you go through the game, your professor level will increase, and this is increased by various things such as being a good teacher and uh, some things that you can do outside here in the uh, monastery as you walk around. Here's the dormitories. Oh, also as you pass by locations, you'll be able to quick travel to them as well. So don't worry about having to walk around everywhere. It's not a problem. Can I pet Kitty, please? I know you can do it. I don't know the button. Some of these rooms you can go in if they're open, but uh, not often. Spotted Bernadetta, you. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Did you now? All right. Well, I'll keep an eye on you. You will beat me to a pulp if I let you. Yeah, she's shy. Weird. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. Bernadetta, another fan favorite character. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rea is quite the beauty too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. <laughs> you know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officers Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Again, if you chose the female player character, you can recruit him right now. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Try sharing a meal with others in the dining hall. You can even treat someone to their favorite mo meal. We'll be doing this quite often. That is a really good way to get in other students' good graces um, and thus being able to recruit more students. I'm gonna head right on down here to the greenhouse because uh, this is one of my favorite activities every time. This is free. You don't have to use an activity point. There's also a fishing pond because every single game has to have fishing in it, I guess. It's very weird. Why, hello. Nice weather for a nap. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. That's... Ooh, ooh, hit him with that. Now I'm sleep feeling sleepy, too. Yeah. I'll try to just choose the things that make people increase... Um... Increase affinity, but, uh, sometimes I'll go crazy nuts. You never know. I'm a little busy. Uh, probably just oh sorry to get his affinity up. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. Okay, maybe there wasn't an option to increase it. Greenhouse. Um, usually there's some items you can find around here as well. Doesn't look like there's... Oh, there's one. Uh, you'll find items sitting about. You can grab them like that. Red flower seeds. I would like to do some gardening. Alright, it's pretty simple. You plant seeds, you get items. I'll plant to do seeds. And uh, those will pop up eventually. You can also cultivate them for money or for not money. I might as well always use magic to infuse because it's the absolute minimum you could do. And like that's that. it. And that finishes that quest. Always, I'm going to always make sure I, incre I do those quests every single time. It is important on uh, for many reasons. He loves this time of year, you just don't know why. What were my only my other quests currently? Ah, oh, I gotta do is share a meal. Okay. This is the only day that we're going to be able to do these specific quests because quests rotate every month. So you're really gonna make wanna make sure that you do these today. Fishing ain't unlocked yet. Oh you hate to see it. How you doing, Marianne? Goddess, I pray to thee. 
Please protect us. <sighs> You're doing this at the fish pond. All right, to each their own. Feel free to uh, pray at the fish pond, I suppose. I know there's a way to pet you. I will do it. I swear to thee. Uh, looks like I can't go that way yet. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, how much do I actually have unlocked of the map here? Okay. You start out with a good portion of it. Well, I want to say probably one of the only things we can do with our activity point today is sharing a meal with the boys. So that's what we're going to go and do. This is the dining hall. I'll go over what you can do here in a second. It's very pretty. Although kind of devoid of many things like decoration. Uh, hello, Flane. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Where can I visit you then? Well, my brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. All right. Well, might you help me with a favor? Catch a fish for the ceremony and bring it to Flane. Head to the fishing pond with the bait she gives you and speak to the fish keeper. Ah, so now we get to fish. Well, I gotta do that. I should say, even if you do use up your last activity point, you are allowed to keep exploring. You just can't do any more actual activities. Let's fish. Oh boy. So if you've played uh, Xenoblade, you know how this goes. Basically, just do some timing prompts. Come on now. There we go. Look at this. It's literally Xenoblade. And to get a per perfect catch. You can catch better fish depending on how good you do. And it also depends on what bait you use. And that'll actually increase your uh, teacher level. So it's a good idea to do that whenever you can. Use up all your bait. Don't let it just sit around for the most part. You have helped me so much. Have this fish. Speaking of which, it looks like she did give us some more bait, so I'm going to go ahead and use that so that we can increase our teacher level as soon as possible. Because that's really the way to play. Use our insect larva, baby. So I'll go ahead and do some of this, and I'll see you in a hot sec. Also, I just I gotta mention how kind of cute it is that they, like, give the fish classic HP bars. Huh. Oh, you know what? There's actually something I forgot to mention. So when a fish bites, you can see its rarity down on the bottom. Blue is the lowest. Red is a better rarity. So you'll notice that this fish is a lot bigger than the other one. Also, since my teacher level is so low, I gotta make sure I really hit those excellence, because otherwise I'm not going to catch the whole fish. But you can see I caught a bit of a better fish there, so I, I'll try and like catch the rarer fishes that's a red one i'm immediately getting that but yeah fish have levels who'd have thunk and we already got a professor level up that easy like i said you probably want to do this you know i now have more activity points for exploration do i get that today actually that'll be interesting to know but yeah, just by like fishing. Oh, I accidentally pressed OK on a blue fish. That's OK. Also, keep in mind, this is the lowest level of bait, so you're probably not going to get crazy good fish. Don't have enough bait to fish. No, I don't get that activity point today. You can see I got like two now, but it's good that I have that for the next week because uh, more activity points is always good. Uh, now I'm gonna munch although i will talk to felix because he's one of my favorite characters Do you want something? i was hoping to spar with you i can't right now but let's fight soon i look forward to beating you it's also kind of worth talking to all the kids because there are there are chances that you can like increase your affinity with them so uh Ugh, i really need to eat i can't hold out until the next meal why can't the dining hall stay open all the time I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. I feel you. Listen, I feel you. So we got today's special. Um, certain kids will like certain meals. Uh, you can see their like motivation up there. Uh, the yellow bars. You want higher motivation for uh, your Mondays. So 
If any character is like low on motivation, I'd uh, pay some special attention to that. However, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat with students that are outside of my class because this raises their affinity, thus making them easier to, uh, to recruit. Of course, you can't recruit the other, like, house leaders. Uh, let's do Dorothea and Annette. Those are two good characters. And if you pit, if you eat with certain groups of characters, you can actually get unique dialogue. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Yeah, it's a bit of a, a give and take here. If you dine with different students, that'll give you a better chance to recruit them. But if you eat with your own students, that increases their motivation. So, you know, you got to judge and see which one's worth it. Also finished that quest for Sylvain. Got a lot of food. Um, If I'm correct, I don't know if we can give gifts yet, but those things you can use to make meals and also give gifts. I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. All right, Starfire. Uh, yeah, it looks like I can't really give gifts yet, because I probably don't have anything that can be given as a gift. Uh, we still have some more areas to explore, and speaking of areas, I'm wondering if there's a... a specific spot I can go to. Oh, there's always things to grab here. Always yoink that good stuff. Uh, we'll go over what items can be used for what later. Uh, let me look at the map real quick. I do get turned around a lot when walking around here. I think I want to try and go this way. Yeah, you can see the, the gardens open over here. This is the good stuff. The amiibo gazebo. Oh, baby, I'm going to use this. If you have an amiibo, I highly recommend using this. This is the amiibo gazebo. When you scan an amiibo here, certain items will appear at random uh, in the monastery in all of your save files. If you go... You will get higher quality items for scanning Fire Emblem character amiibos. Unfortunately, I don't have any Fire Emblem amiibos. But what I do have... I wonder if it'll show it. Oh, is it on the right Joy-Con? Oh, excuse me. Amiibo scanned. Please show me what kind of amiibo it is. Oh, it doesn't. I scanned a Waluigi amiibo. Uh, but doing that will make items spawn here. Uh, various items that can be used as, uh, as gifts, as teas, which is a spe special kind of thing. Um, actual battle items as well, so I definitely recommend scanning amiibos. It'll be well worth your while, because uh, you scan it once, and every single day from now on, this area will be covered with items. So, it's a, it's a very short con inconvenience for a lot of gain. So I recommend it more than anything else. Hello, Annette. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. Sure. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Uh, can't say that I have. Are you looking some for someone? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? I'm thinking Annette might be one of the first characters I try to recruit, just because I really liked her from my, uh, what is it, Blue Lions playthrough, so, uh, we'll yoink her. Um, as for students I'm going to use in battle, keep in mind I'm going to mainly just be using my class students. I won't be, like, swapping them around all the time. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. Nerd. In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Fair enough, dude. Um, I think that'll finish our exploring for the day. Let's go ahead and move on to the next week. So, ooh, we actually don't have... Oh, it's Ferdinand's birthday. Ooh, we get to see what we do for this. Okay. I always spend the money on the characters for their birthdays. It's worth it. It gets you affinity. Um, and I believe later on you'll be able to go on tea parties with them, which you love to see. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we will have fighting. So get ready for that. Um, we have a mission going on here. So 
See you all that time. You can see statistics. Uh, which I believe is just, yeah, just how many times, like what characters people use the most. Whose birthday is that on the 17th? Because we're not going to see that forever. Hubert's. And then we have uh, Adrestian Empire founding day. Ooh, fun. So I'll see you all in the next episode. And goodbye.